Hi, nice to see you again. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a good day. So today I'd like to share with you some of the beauty staples that I have that I've repurchased over and over and I just have to have them in the um, in the maintenance and the taking care of my skin and or just my general beauty routine. You know, at the heart of everything, I am such a practical girl and I know for uh, video purposes, especially YouTube, that's really not sexy. <laughs> and I know it but I just don't I'm not a person that chase after the latest and greatest especially when it comes to makeup um, I invest if I invest any money um, I invest my money in skincare and I don't even think you need to buy the most expensive skincare but if I do spend the money that's where I'm gonna spend my money and that's where I'm gonna invest my time I think your skin is an investment that will pay off dividends for years to come and I hope you're taking care of your skin I really do don't neglect it it's so very important but um so for YouTube purposes, like I said, because I don't chase after the latest and greatest, to be honest with you, um, there's I don't have a lot to always talk about because I, I don't do that. But I do do, and because I am practical, I do have practical things and staples in my beauty routine that I want to share with you. And some of you probably have these and have already heard of, heard of them. And um, I'd love to hear from you as well. Leave Please leave me comments on what your beauty staples are. And if you've found something that works really good please share that with all of us that's why that's why I'm here and that's why I'm doing this because I love to share with with you and I want to hear from you as well and what you what you use and what works for you but for um, for first and foremost I will start out with the thing that's the most one of the most important staples for me is as we get older and maybe just me but I have seen chin my hairs on my chin are sprouting up and it seems like I am plucking almost daily. It's crazy, but I can't stand to feel coarse uh, hairs on my chin. So of course I, we I reach for my tweezer man tweezers. Now I've tried different tweezers over the years. I don't use the pointed one. I use the slanted one by the way, but I have tried different tweezers over the years and I know they're expensive for tweezers. I think they're about $20 if not more, depending on where you buy them and if you have a coupon, but I just love these. I think they work the best for me. If you don't know already, when these become dull, you can send them into tweezer men and they will sharpen them for you and they come back like brand new. I've done that many a times. I've never had an issue and I just think it's totally worth it. Um, I must have four or five pairs of tweezers on hand and I just, I like I said, I, I send them in and I have them sharpen uh, the, uh, them and they just come back brand new. But I love them for the chin hairs um, especially and um, of course I use it for eyebrows as well. But this is so important to have and um, make sure you also have a good mirror, magnification mirror. Of course, we don't always want to see. Uh, <laughs> what's in that magnification mirror, especially as we get older, but you know what, I would, I, I, I need that mirror to be able to get at my chin and my eyebrows, so, um, make sure you have a good mirror, but I love my tweezer men tweezers, I always have them on hand, and, um, I use it just about every day, unfortunately. <laughs> the other thing that I notice beyond the coarse chin hairs is just the general peach fuzz that pops up on my face, it's, I mean, I probably should shave my face twice twice a week, if not more, but is it, 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 I do about once a week. And the thing that I use, and I've used different ones, of course, but I love this one. This I've been using for about five, over five years. It's a Panasonic shaver. Um, it's got a little bit of a flexible head, if you can see that. It's it's not too um, flexible, but it just, it's nice to get into the, you know, the curves of your face. But I love to use this. I use it on a clean, dry face. I just, you know, pull my face a little taut and I just razor shave, I mean shave, I'm sorry, all over um, the upper lip, my the uh, lower lip underneath here, especially uh, on my chin where I, you know, can't use tweezers. I you Peach fuzz, you can't really, especially if you, a lot, if you have a lot of peach fuzz. But I just love it for the, the neck, the chin and everything. This I've had, like I said, for a long time. The only thing I've had to replace is the batteries. Some of them are so junky, they fall apart. So this is about $20, maybe more um, now, since, like I said, I haven't bought one in a while. But I love this thing. It just has an on-off, works wonderful, gets rid of all the peach fuzz on, the, on my face, and um, I would never be without this. I think it's one of my favorite face shavers that I've ever used. Um, so it's very, very good, very practical. 
Um, the other thing I always have to have in my uh, staples is my cotton rounds. And the ones I use are Swispers. Now, I use these to apply my toners or if I use an essence or I um, am using, I usually don't use a makeup remover on my eyes, but if I'm using a makeup remover for my eyes, I use these. They're 100% cotton. Um, I actually have in the past bought mine in bulk at Costco, which is a great deal. Um, you get 100 in a pack and I, I don't remember how many were in the bulk, um, but they were between nine and $12 depending on if you got you know got a sale from Costco so if you have a Costco membership look for these in your Costco I think they just stopped selling these in mine unfortunately so um, I'm pretty well stocked up right now but I don't know I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to buy these like I think hopefully Target and Amazon probably sells them but I love these like I said they're 100% cotton they don't fall apart they don't tear they don't rip they work very very well and I use these uh, all the time every day like i said and um i just love them i know that the shiseido cotton squares are very popular and i've tried them and they're very nice there's no doubt about it but i think you get 200 in it i think in a pack for ten dollars and to me i don't know i don't i don't personally think it's worth it when i could get these and did get these at costco in bulk um and i think they're just as nice so that these are another practical thing that i always keep in hand as far as my my beauty staples um, something else that I always have now, and I never really got into these, um, until a few years ago. And let me just say right off the bat, I would never use these wipes as cleaning my face and then going to sleep. I would never do that. I use cleansing wipes. These happens to be the Beekman boys. They're the goat milk, um, cleansing wipes. These are very nice too, but you can use any of them. Just make sure they're gentle and there's no alcohol in them. And I'm going to do a separate video on cleansers and the ones that I use. I'll go more in depth, but I would never, and nor would I ne ever recommend that you use a cleansing wipe as just removing, you know, your makeup and the dirt and the grime and then following up with your serums or night cream or or anything like that. I would never I would never use that these for that because um, I could never fall asleep. I got to do a full cleansing on my face and like I said I'll do a separate video on that. But what I use these for is if I'm working out and my face is, you know, just feeling grimy and I can't wash my face right away. I use that um, for, I use these for uh, removing the, the dirt and grime. If it's humid and sticky out and my face just feels gross, I reach for a cleansing cloth. Um, but I would say this to you, I highly, highly implore you to clean your face before you go to sleep at night. Please do thoroughly clean it. Um, but if you are one of those people that you just are so tired and you cannot, you just can't do it. I would rather have you grab one of these, a cleansing cloth, and remove all the makeup off your face and go to sleep with a full face of makeup. That's how passionate I am about you cleaning your face and how important I think it is. Um, so I will, like I said, again, I'll do an in-depth video on cleansing and what I use um, and how I cleanse my face but um, I always keep cleansing wipes on hand for purposes of uh, you know just getting off the uh, dirt and grime if I can't wash my face thoroughly uh, you know when I'm working out or something so these are like they're like a refresher for me basically and that's what I like about them so another thing I always have to have on hand, and I'm sure a lot of you have this too, is coconut oil. I love coconut oil. I ingest coconut oil. I might, if I have a smoothie, I'll put it in my um, my smoothie. Uh, we all know the benefits of coconut oil, um, but I love it for my hair and I love it for my skin. And how I use it is my hair is very dry and I love to put coconut oil in my hair you know if I'm not going out and I just I'm gonna run around here and clean or do whatever I'm doing or just relaxing if I'm doing a mask or something I'll put coconut in my oil in my hair I leave it in the longer the better for me and it just makes my hair so soft and shiny and manageable and I absolutely um, love coconut oil I also use coconut oil on my face especially when I'm doing a retin-a product and it's very dry and flaky I like to let this sit on my face for a while as well um, before you know I do my nightly cleansing um, of my face I know some people can't use something this heavy on their face I totally get it but if you have the kind of skin that I do that things do not it's not sensitive and things don't break you out I highly and and you have dry skin I highly recommend coconut oil I don't use it every day 
um, but I use it maybe a couple times uh, in the month, if not more, just depending on my skin needs. But I, I love my coconut oil. I always have to have it on hand. And of course, like we all probably do, we always have to have some type of, type of body moisturizer on hand besides coconut oil. One of the things that I like right now is the Hemp's Triple Moisture. Um, it's the herbal whipped body cream. Now I have a lot of body creams and I'll do a separate video, but I always have to have a body cream, especially now as I'm getting older. I'm also noticing not only my skin is drying out, but it's getting crepier in some places. So after I take a shower, I always have to use body cream and put, um, you know, body uh, cream on my skin. Um, I also use their companion body wash, which I really like. It's gentle. There's nothing stripping in it. Um, and I use loofahs. I always have to have a loofah or one of the um, uh, sponges that are the um, exfoliating sp sponges on hand. I always use that when I take a shower as well. So um, another another thing that I also would like to mention that I use and that are absolutely beauty basics to me are my supplements. Now, <laughs> I could have dragged them all out here, but this video would have been so long. So I am going to do a separate video on that as well. I love my supplements. And the two two of the ones that I have been taking um, this uh, for years and years and years and years. One of them is a biotin for hair, skin, and nails. I have been taking um, a biotin for over 20 years, and I do believe it's helped in all three of those areas: hair, skin, and nails. Um, I, again, I'll do a separate video on it um, uh, because I also use a collagen. I always I also ingest a collagen. I know that some people don't believe that collagens, uh, you know, are work for 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 your skin ingesting. Do, does it work? I I honestly really don't know, but I'll tell you what I think. I I don't see it hurting anything. I put collagen in my coffee. I put it in my smoothies, and I am a collagen uh, lover. And I'll share with you the ones that I use. Like I said in a separate video, but I love my supplements. I take a lot of supplements every day, and um, it's just a staple in my beauty routine. I consider it part of my beauty routine that I wouldn't be without. So these are just some of them that I use. Please share with me what you use. I'd love to hear what your beauty staples are and what you wouldn't um, be without and like I said I'm gonna do separate videos on, on certain um, products here that I talked or just um, certain um, like cleansing and supplements and um, again I'd love to hear from you I hope you have a wonderful day I really appreciate you watching I really do and I thank you so much and um, until the next time I'll see you later bye